Follow these instructions to change the spool, line and spool cap of your Flymo trimmer. First, ensure that you have disconnected the product from the mains electricity supply. Underneath the cutting head, locate the two latch releases on the spool cap. Push the cap release latches in and then pull the cap away from the spool holder to reveal the line reel. Take hold of the line spool as shown and pull out to remove it from the trimmer. Taking a new spool with the cutout area of the spool in line with the eyelet, release the line from the cleat and feed the line through the eyelet on the trimmer and then repeat for the second line. Ensure the spool is fully located by gently rotating it during fitting whilst keeping the spool holder steady. Using genuine Flymo replacement line, cut two lines approximately 5 meters in length. Insert 15 millimeters of line into one of the holes of the spool as shown. and the other line into the remaining hole. Wind the lines in the direction of the arrows on the top of the spool. Care should be taken to ensure that the lines are neatly coiled on the spool. Failure to do so will impair the efficiency of the automatic line feed. Leave approximately 100 millimeters of each line unwound and place into the cleat. With the cutout area of the spool in line with the eyelet, release the line from the cleat and feed the line through the eyelet on the trimmer, as shown. And then repeat for the second line. Ensure the spool is fully located by gently rotating it during fitting whilst keeping the spool holder steady. Next, take the spool cap, locate onto the spool and click back into place, as shown. Return the product to its normal operating position before switching on. Remember, your trimmer is designed to use only nylon line with a maximum diameter of 1.5 millimeters. Use only recommended genuine Flymo line. Details of stockists can be found on www.flymo.com/uk. We hope you found this how-to video useful.